Last time that we played, we were finally able to get over to some place we'd never been before in the form of the moon base. Or I guess as I looked at it, it's called the lunar base. And we defeated the boss, got some legendary or experimental gear. And I'm very excited to see where that is going to take us. We are currently on the second planet. We've got a lot of points to apply, but the run's not over yet. So let's go ahead and pick up where we left off. You can see right now the place is dark. It's now nighttime. We're ready to camp. But we actually broke on over to the left, where at nighttime, this supposed temple is open. Not too sure what to expect from it, so we're gonna go ahead and check it out. Inside. I can hear the hideous chants of the Eternalists now, summoning forth some hideous interdimensional nightmare god that should not be. These cults are always a little predictable. I'm gonna hand it to the Titans. Their buildings are ancient, yet still structurally sound. Is this like a whole nother sub dungeon? Oh my god. Wow, she looks crazy like an arachnid or something. Heathens have entered our haven. We must give them their last rites and maybe also eat them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's like a mechanical spider or something. So let's go ahead and review our team. Right now we've got Aegis with Mariati Penrave. We've got Win Syphex as our Valkyrie. We've got Bentley, our commando. And we just picked up Senya Lanadora. And she's currently the highest level that we got, but she doesn't have any gear or anything like that. So we'll see how this rolls. So off we go. Oh, I totally forgot. If you didn't catch the last episode, right now we are using the level two legendary moon gauntlets, allowing us to hit for extra damage. Mariai Penry doesn't really deal a lot of damage, but it's helpful. But more importantly, all of our attacks will remove buffs. One of the things I'm a little bit worried about, though, when I think about it, and I might actually replace these, is the fact that we cannot get Stagger off of Mariotti. And sometimes that's very, very, very important, coupled with Bentley, right? Bentley has access to the Moon Rifle. This is pretty nuts. We get an increasing 10% damage gain, cumulative effect until end of combat on whoever he's attacking. And that's pretty darn awesome, all in exchange for extra damage taken like a Berserker. We've got a Husk on the right. We've got a Husk on the right, the left. We've got Credits. Found out how powerful that is between runs. We've got DNA Vats on the left or more Credits. Hmm. I almost feel like taking the Credits might be helpful to us, yeah? So let's head over to the right and we'll see what we got. Almost looks like a big mechanical rat or something like that. Oh my god, or a lizard or something. Aura speed. That's right, I forgot our empath has auras, yes? So let's familiarize ourselves again. We've unlocked Keel Hall. So for 20 fury, 131 damage to a target. We've got repulsion to give us a full buff of shields to everybody. Extra defense, very much like we're deflecting or guarding. And then we also reflect 25% damage back. So that's pretty epic. I suppose we'll start. It seems like this trample rat. What is the deal with this guy? It's the first time I'm seeing it. It almost looks like a metallic chameleon, a war hound. Sure will win. 130 shields, 458 health. And it has, well, they call it trample, but it's attacking only one person. I'm used to that Magic the Gathering where it kind of like rolls through a target and hits the back line. But this does not seem to be the case. But it's a, definitely a big hit to our shields, yeah? and it burns away at our armor. Well, let's go ahead. We've got System Shock and Concussion. Staggers delay 20% more block by shields and armor. Well, we don't want that. I think she's a higher priority right now. We'll start with our best breaker right here. Almost there, but not quite. But let's go ahead and nail her. Mariotti does not provide stagger. Just a little bit of stagger there would have pushed enough. If we mine knife, that is a break. Let's go in and hit that. And then when it comes to win, she can crit. Oh, we've got to hit the front line. I keep forgetting about that, right? Well, we'll come in on the... I suppose the Sunder will drop out that armor entirely. So we'll go ahead and just blast that, that lead front line. And then we'll go ahead and full deflect because we're going to take a trample from the Warhound. So incoming. Big push. That's enough to break. And then we're gonna get in with Sunder. Although I suppose even with the crit, I realize I didn't burn through the shields yet. So we are not going to Sunder that armor. 
So I, I gotta, I gotta remember that. I gotta remember that. I gotta deplete those shields first. So maximum damage to the shields. And then we go to follow up. So she is no longer delayable. So we need to just burn through her as hard as possible. We got a shield throw, but we'll take crits. Let's hold. Are we faster? We are not. Salvo is. That'll at least burn away those shields, right? Let's see if Sunder can follow up within the same amount of time. It seems like we will get the crit. Okay, I will do Sunder because Bentley's faster and Bentley's going to be able to knock out those shields. And then we've got my knife to get the killing blow. And it seems like we're going to have to guard our empath in order to stop the Warhound from hurting her. So hopefully we should be able to knock out the front line. Big crit. Shields are down. Thank you, Bentley. Give him a little bit of a mine knife and boom. There's the Sunder and the Killing Blow. Perfect. So in comes the attack, but we are guarding. Ooh, hello. Still dealt shields to her as well. Very interesting. I didn't actually look whether that tramples a little bit different. This one seems to be... It still seems to be the same. Well, I'm going to suppose we'll just do the same. We can actually target this guy now. Big crit. We're coming in with a cleave. We're coming in with... Let's see. Stimulate attacks. Execute 10%... Fa 10 seconds faster. We've got defense buff, shield aura. I guess it doesn't matter for the shield aura because when we win, and we will win then it doesn't matter because we'll get our shields back anyway. So all in, drop this guy's shields out, and then in comes Win with the giant cleave, right? Oh, never mind. Oh, heck yes. Shields are down, and cleave. Huge hit. All right, where are we at with these guys? So he now has zero shield, but 322 health, and he can be pushed back once. I think Bentley has enough. There's a break. So this is free reign at this point. Between shield throw, they have no armor to break. And I guess we're going to deal more damage. I'm, I'm really curious. This is a light attack. This is a normal attack. So I guess we'll just keep smacking away at him as heavily as we can. And we'll come in with a mind knife and go. I do like the fact with the speed aura, we're able to keep our hits in at guaranteed crits because we're able to get our shots in before the enemy can retaliate. Income with a cleave. And we're almost there. So I no more delays, right? No more delays. Who's he attacking? He's attacking our main tank. So we'll go full deflect and then honestly just ping away before he can do anything. And there it is. Beautiful. I think we got it. Fantastic. Just in case, we've got that reflect up. And shot the finish. Excellent. High five. Beautiful. So we are building up all of the extra points. We are getting tons of DNA. This is crazy. And so we've got enough to level up. So I guess we'll hold. We're going to go more on our damage dealers. We've got Plot Revenge. Health damage plus 33% for two combats. And armor defense and crit damage increased for two combats. Crit damage. Well, I mean, we're crit quite often. This could be very powerful. We're going to go in and select Bentley on this one. Yeah, so level five. You go, guy. And we'll hold. We'll go in and get some credit. Last time we didn't have any and we had a really, really cool... Oh my god, how... Is this like a high level area or something? We just got... We got like 150 credits. That's insane. I don't think I've ever had anything that high. And we have even more credits. That's either a statue of an ancient titan god creature, or it's the galaxy's biggest coffee maker. Ooh, I don't mind that. According to the ancient myths, if you learn the history of this strange god device, you'll be very bored. This artifact may be hideous and probably deadly, but it's still historically important. So hands off, and no stealing. You know who I mean. Mm, this is suboptimal, but there's still a chance I can defeat these interlopers. Feast on the precious nutrients. Spend another 10,000 years in semi-fulfilling continued existence. Semi-fulfilling? That sounds good. I wonder if she's totally going to make us eat our lunch or something. Look at that. We've got over 300 credits. That is blowing my mind. We might as well come up to the DNA vat. There's nothing stopping us from heading on back. 
I don't know how much we'll really get out of it. Can we go back? Will it let us? It will let us go forward. It will not let us go back. It's not locked, but we can't go there. All right, that's fine. I guess we're going into combat. Yeah. Even if we die here, we'll have so many credits for the merchant. Oh, she's one of these. It's like a boss version, but she's on the back lane. That, that's terrifying. And what the heck is this? It's like a zombie creature. Ew, my gosh. Wow, that thing is fast. What are we dealing with? That is a husk in the front. No actions queued. 315 health. Just a huge health pool. We got a buff bot in the back line. Recalibration. All attacks are 5 seconds faster and are empowered. 71 shields, 134 health. We've got 55 shields, 151 health. Concussion damage. Attacks do concussion damage. And they also have the 5 seconds faster. And then, of course, we've got Bren 1, Savant. 341 shields, but 162 health. 13 armor. Advanced armor. Reduced defense versus Phasma. 50% defense versus crits. Oh, that's not good. Enraged when overwatched. 50% defense for stagger. Attacks do pulse. Attacks do extra armor damage. More shields. Okay, this... This... She sounds very high level. She's a level 6 as well. So, I don't know about this. This is kind of terrifying. I suppose we will... We could heal haul for 131. And it seems like we can actually target anybody. Which is very interesting. And it looks like it triggers... I didn't realize combos seem to trigger immediately on the timeline. Which is pretty epic. Let's hold. I like the fact we can target anywhere because you can't do that here with regular attacks. You can't target the buff bot or anything like that. Speaking of which, the buff bot at 131, we've almost removed the buff bot, but I suppose that's not really going to help us too much. Can we push the husk out of the way? Negative. What about this gentleman? If we got Bentley... I'm not seeing any shoves. You know what I'm talking about? Like, we're coming in with Salvo. It's not doing anything. We come in with Broadside. It doesn't push him. Maybe because we're about to get crit. She's going to attack the entire team. So, I don't know if I can defend everybody. I don't think I can. Armor piercing not needed. Horn swoggle to redirect. Can we even target the backline? We can. But on an AoE, that's not going to help us. So, what can we do? Well, we can definitely guard whoever's weakest, right? Everyone has armor except for the Empath. So we're going to go ahead and guard the Empath. And then we've got Sunder, Battle Cry for extra damage. I mean, that's super helpful. The Husk isn't doing anything in particular, so we might as well cleave him, right? We're going to attack much, much later. Actually, what about this guy? Laser Blast. And he will attack our tank. Buff bot, AoE, nothing. I'm going to guess if they're attacking the tank, doesn't matter. We're not going to get crit. So let's just lay into this robo soldier and broadside's normal attack. We'll just keep hitting him. And the empath, plus 15% defense. I mean, that's helpful. Let's do it. We'll go peace. For plus 50% defense. 15. We're switching. Because we've got an incoming AoE. We've got a guard on the empath. And we're going to lay into the soldier. Wow, that is a massive shield drain. I just hope there's enough left of you to eat. Robo soldier. We took zero health damage. I mean, that's a plus. And now it's our turn. So we cut out his shields. We're coming in with a cleave. Big hit, but reduced by the armor. Sunder would have cleared that, yeah? Save the meat. Mitigate offense. Flagellate. Laser blast. God, they're fast. They are so fast. Hamstrung. Well, that's not good. Conversion shield. What just happened? So right now they have plus 40% defense for Brenwin. Conversion shield is going to give her more shields. The buff bot is doing recalibration. I have no clue. We've got a blast coming into our tank. 
and then Flagellate is coming over to our Empath. All right, fair enough. Can we push them back? That's the question. Do we have that opportunity? We can break this guy, and we can also break the Robo Blast. Let's see if Slash is going to push him far enough. Slash is close. What about Mind Knife? Mind Knife has a push. All right, we're going to Mind Knife the Flagellate, or Mind Knife the Husk. We'll slash the husk to break. We'll have Bentley salvo the soldier. And then we're going to hard, I think hard deflect. Is that right? Actually, everything else is non-existent. So we'll just shield throw and deal some damage. Let's do it. Because we'll have canceled the attacks coming our way. We just need to control the damage coming in. Break them as much as possible so that we can get guns off the field, right? So there we go. We double broke the front line. Renwin is going to get her shields back and the buff bot's going to recalibrate. I'm not too sure what that means. Mitigate defense conversion shield. Zero damage, but shields down. And oh, exposed. So I think we got a debuff from the buff bot. So let's take a look at ourselves because I'm pretty sure he debuffed us. So right now we have minus 25% defense, minus 25% armor defense. I'm assuming that's all the way across. It does seem like that is the case and that was because of that bot. Okay, well, fair enough. So we've got a fast attack coming in from the husk. Our, their frontliners are going to be the fastest on this one. So we are close to pushing them out. That's a kill shot. Let's hit the husk. Mine knife's not it. We can slash. Ah, see, we can't stop the husk unless we push him in one, right? So that's not something we can do unless we had a stun. So Nodo would be really, really good for that. So let's see what attacks they've got. They've got one coming in on the empath from the husk, one coming in to Mariati. Okay, well, tell you what, let's go ahead and charge shields first. We can repulsion, but that doesn't allow us to guard. So we're going to go ahead and guard our empath. We'll be able to kill shot on the soldier. And we will actually... I feel like shield aura might help us here. Go in and get that up. That's going to allow us to regen some shields. And then we'll just start pinging away at the, flag at the, uh, the husk here. All right, incoming. Bentley's basically going to allow us to get these shots in before they deal the damage. So Robo Soldier's out. Bentley's got the push. Beautiful. But we can't push him anymore. Very close to being broken there. Mine knife just for damage. And we're guarding the empath because the husk is coming in. And there we go. Beautiful. I love the fact that our armor actually stopped that and dealt some damage back. That's beautiful. Mitigate defense. And that buff bot, hopefully that's just until end of combat, because that's terrifying. And they keep our shields down, and we're exposed. I'm curious if that stacks. So if we look, it's still the same buff, just refreshed. It's got a one-turn duration, so it makes sense. It keeps going for it. Well, let's get our shields back up. We know the husk is early on the order. And it's not... Okay, so we've, we've got to salvo the Delium. And then we'll go ahead and Mind Knife shot the finish, but it's late kill. So Slash is a kill shot. There we go. And we're going to hard deflect. So we'll have removed all of their most aggressive units, basically their front line, and then we can start to put to start working the back line. Ooh, God. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, I did not expect the follow-up there, plus ionized health damage on win. Oh no, health damage on our empath, my goodness. Mine knife, because he was gone, so we had to send it somewhere. We sent it to the back line, that's perfect. Ball lightning. Fortified. Oh god, okay, this is not, <laughs> this is not going well. 
and we don't have a way to recover all of this. The shields go down so quickly, I don't think doing any sort of AoE raise of shields is going to help us. Yum. Recalibration conversion shield, so they're going to get their shields back up, right? So where are we at here? 71 and 274 shields. And if we look at ourselves right now, our tank has minus 30% defense versus shield damage. Healing abilities, healing abilities are 50% less effective. Cannot use buffing powers. Oh my god. Well, uh, that's problematic. Do we have any attacks coming in? Not directly. Free action to distribute shields. Recalibration. Okay, I think we got to focus that buff bot, honestly. Anything we do is going to come in before them. So we'll shield throw 115% damage for shields. It doesn't have any armor, so we're just coming in with a hard cleave. We've got a broadside. That's a break on the buff bot. And we'll mine knife and hope the empath doesn't die. Mine knife. Shield throw. Shot to delay. Shields down. We got a break. And then we've got the cleave to follow up. Big hit. And there we go. The buff bot is down. Beautiful. But obviously, she has a lot of things up her sleeve and she's very fast. System drain. So what is the deal with this? That's a huge attack on Aegis. So ideally, we'd be able to push her back, right? What do we got? That's a break instantly. What about broadside? That is also a break. We'll tell you what. We're going to go in and trigger... Man, I'd really like to... Heal Hall. We're not going to clear her armor, her shields yet. So we're just going to go ahead and break her. We'll shield throw. We are going to sunder, actually. Oop, hang on. We're going to sunder to drop her armor. Although, to be fair, we're not going to be dropping her shields on this one, so I guess Cleave is the way to go. And then we'll go ahead and mine knife. Let's do it. Hopefully this will allow us to outlast the debuffs that we have, and then we can change our auras and stuff like that. We have a possibility we could win this, but I don't know. I don't know. She still has her shields. Broadside's up. Or better yet, if we salvo, I think that's enough. We've got a break. So we hit her hard. And we're just gonna continue this assault. So no point in changing anything. We got our slash. We have our... We can actually switch it now. So we got time aura. We've got inspire. Extra action this round. Peace, defense. We're going with Time Aura. Free action, so now we're faster. And we'll go in a Mind Knife. And we'll smash. There it is. The most important thing is we got that break. We need to drop those shields, and then we can get in with Sunder, and we can really, really drop her armor. There's a smash. We get 20% extra damage because of the gauntlet. And then there is the shields down and the break, in theory. Okay, great, great. So now this is our moment. She has 96 remaining. If we were to kill Hall, I think that is enough to drop her. If we Sunder, we will crit. If we Broadside, that is a killing blow. Excellent. High five. I didn't know if we'd be able to do it, but we barely made it. It still might be the end of the run, but hey, we're getting a lot of, a lot out of these these runs. A lot of intel, a lot of currency. We had the most currency we've ever had before, and that is a killing blow. Beautiful. Bren Wan has been removed from the field. So we get two intel. We've got 15 now. 44 DNA. That's enough to level up another, and we even get a little bit of extra affection as well. Phenomenal. All right, we're going to go over to our level up. We'll go ahead and focus on win. Let her get her hits in a little bit harder. And then we'll back up and resume. Imperium Tech Rare. New gear. Focus Cortex. So this is for 
everyone but Bentley. Flurry attacks, we don't have any flurry attacks. All attacks, plus 18% armor damage. You got a laser rifle, that's for Bentley only, he, to replace his moon rifle. Plus 25% damage versus health, inflicts irradiated 5, and minus 25% defense all attacks. We've got Demolisher Circuit, plus 18 armor damage, normal attacks. Normal attacks can reach the back row. That's awesome. That is really awesome, but does she do a lot of damage? No, no, she doesn't. So as much as that's very fancy, I don't think we're going to take that. You know what? I guess we'll equip this. We'll stash it. We're going to get the Focus Cortex. Wow. Finally, I have some official Eternalist gear. This stuff is always so expensive. And we're going to go to the squad. We're, we are going to put it on win. We don't. We do know she has the ability to utilize it. And there we go. So now she's going to deal even more. The flurry is not really the stuff. It's it's more about that extra armor percentage damage, right? And that was profitable credit-wise. We even got more credits. That's insane. Well, I'm glad we busted up that Eternalist cult sect. I'm in favor of tech accelerationism, but in a less disgusting way. So the whole murderous mutant thing is a turnoff, for sure, but I dig their fashion sense. I bet you do. Oh, what is this question mark? Is this a Titan Temple or the Ancient Visitor Center to a nearby larger Titan Temple? I can never tell. Plus, is one more impressive than the other? The Titans built these structures to last, which is why Norosh is ruled by the People's Earthquake Retrofit Party. I bet there are some nice relics in there. It'd sure be a shame if they went missing. Seriously, that would be horrible for the many school children who visit this site to learn about ancient Titan history. Well, <laughs> whoops. My gosh, we lost a lot of health. It came very, very close there. Defeated commander together. Exhaust when used. So it's going to be... That's already fixed. So Bentley and Aegis' relationship is going to improve. So if we take a look at our empath. Health defense plus 15%. Heal health 50%. I mean, she honestly needs to heal herself. Can she do that? Yes, she can. Give herself a smoothie and call it a day. Uh, we've got repairs 50% armor. We have shield damage plus 25%, armor defense plus 10%, crit damage plus 25%. What about win? Heal health 50%. Yes to Bentley, poor guy. Heal that. 118. Well, shiver me timbers. <laughs> health damage plus 33%, attacks cause bleeding, crit damage plus 25%. I like it. Last two combat though, but you know what? I mean, he hits anyone we want to stagger, so we'll go ahead and give it to him. Or we can get extra benefit out of the mine knife. We do that all the time, so why not? We'll give it to her. Well, actually, we didn't really lose that much. So I might actually buff our tank. There we go. I mean, they're advancing pretty nicely. All right, let's see where we're at. So I guess we'll go up. We can fully heal the party. I didn't even see that there. Let's go in and breach. Off we go. We've got three breaches. This is one of them. Aura speed. So at least we get a reaction moment. Robo Claws and Clobber. So what are we dealing with? Clobber for tank bot. Effects being guarded. Oh, they're being guarded by this guy? And this is the Conservator. Grounded when stunned. And then over on this side, we've got tank bot with 12 armor. And this guy also has 12 armor. And they're both attacking our tank. Okay, that seems fine to me. So we'll go ahead and we'll wait to full deflect. We got a salvo on push. I mean, that's a huge, huge push. With my knife to the same target, we got a break. And the thing that I like is that they actually do not have shields. So in theory, we should be able to... Although they're being guarded. So does that mean we're going to hit the conservator? I have no clue. We'll target this person with Sunder. And then we'll hard deflect and we'll see how this works. We should be able to push one of them. Unless the guard intercepts. So that's a bad delay. There's the follow-up. There's the break. Leaving the one towards the bottom of the screen. That's a strike to the conservator. So Sunder did not connect with the other guy. That's excellent. Reduce that damage. We got 45 fury. Tank bonus clobber. So we've got ram. Ram, everything is targeted towards our tank, which is perfect. Honestly, I couldn't ask for more. So let's start with Bentley. That's a huge hit. 
or we switch over to Salvo, which honestly has the most delay, and we'll get that hit in and land the break. Then we can focus on the top mech with a killing blow, and we'll hard deflect here. And we will mine knife. Oh, wow. I didn't realize. Holy crap. So we ignore the shields on the conservator. I didn't realize it barely had any health. Because apparently we're just going to kill shot it with our empath's mind. Is this a full clear? Oh my god. <laughs> I five. I didn't even realize it was that fragile. Holy moly. Well, that's excellent. Let's salvo and break that guy, and then we don't have to worry. Just smash away. Smash, 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 slash, and mine knife. Wow, that is impressive. I can see how powerful the empath is to just bypass the shields like that if they have barely any health pool, right? And you don't even have to worry about whether they're in the front line or the back line. We're up to 31 DNA with that 20 DNA advance. To the squad, currently we're at... Yeah, we're close to being able to level up to 5 with our tank, but I don't know if I'll do it right away. Let's go ahead and get that full heal. That is a real load off. I'm going to head straight for the objective so that we can trigger that terminal. So we'll kind of go around. I'm curious what kinds of things the droid can be upgraded on, right? Because that's something over at our main camp that we can do. Ooh, this guy looks legit. Is that a boss? Yeah, that's a boss in the back there. Centurion. Is that marked target? Punishing Blast. So what did we receive? I think that was win, right? We have a debuff. Minus 25% defense versus crit. Cannot stealth. I mean, that's all right. Crit damage buff. Armor defense buff. Speeds up actions with the aura. It's just to win. It's just to win. Let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. Centurion's targeting Aegis. We've got an attack on Aegis. We've got all attacks on Aegis. Pulse. Nitro damage. All attacks slowed by 15 seconds from the Centurion. And then minus 25% defense for shield damage. I think we probably want to get that Centurion pushed if possible. He has... Actually, how many shields? We've got 106, 63 shields, 184 shields. So the Centurion should be easy enough to blow through his shields. That's a break. And this is honestly a break as well. Oh, wait a minute. We got to deal with the guy in the front, right? Oh, right, slam him with Bentley. Oh, gosh. Well, if we cleave... No, the Centurion's going to go super early, yeah? All right, in that case, just cleave away. Cleave away. My knife's going to bypass that. All right. We'll just hit the Centurion and start that process. And we will hard deflect. Here we go. I think she can take it. I'm not too worried about it. My knife. Bentley gets the blast and the break. Beautiful. And we got to clear out the rest of his shields here. Centurion takes 14. And we actually get through to the health. That's phenomenal. There's the boss. Thank you, mother. I agree. That went well. Oh, he hears mom in his head now, yeah? Must have had a good childhood. Punishing blast guard. So this gentleman is going to attack Aegis. We've got an attack on Aegis. And then we've got guard on the front line. Ooh, because he may die. Well, that's interesting. I don't think I can really divert that. Armor pierce. He has a little bit of armor, but it's not really enough to worry about. Let's go ahead and... We're going to end up hitting him, right? That's unfortunate. If we mind knife, though, I don't think he can guard against the mind knife. Oh, no, he does. He does. All right. Well, I'm going to suppose we could keel haul and see how that works. That's going to take up... Oh, it's also going to take up our tank's turn, so we can't deflect. We're definitely going to want to deflect, though. So I'm going to go in and charge shields. So it's going to use up some of the fury. We'll charge again. Now we cap out. Full deflect. And then we'll look at our options now. Yeah. 
He has no armor to Sunder, so we're just coming in with the biggest hits that we can because we're going to end up hitting the back line. And I'm going to apply peace to our tank to preserve her shields as much as possible. All right, she's shielding up. Deflect. Big hit from Centurion. There we go. That's going to the back line. Back line shields. That's okay. I call this the Imperium Waltz. Where they're dancing back and forth between who gets to take the hit or not. Where are we at now? He's attacking. We have a guard on the Centurion. I mean, that's totally fine. That is totally, totally fine. Well, I will gladly charge here. We'll full deflect once again. Everything's going to the front line. We've got our cleave. Just hammer away. Everyone hammer away. Broadside. We got a killing blow. And we got mine knife to the Centurion. Let's do it. Although I suppose the mine knife's probably going to hit the front line first because he is guarding. So he takes that hit. He's got bleed. We take the Centurion's blast. And we work that front line. Wow. Multi-attack. Holy crap. That's not cool. And there we go. Their front line is finally cleared. We're having to kind of cleave our way through. We can't just target the back line and end their... End them or anything like that. So right now, it is a Centurion first. We've got a guard from the back line, which is unfortunate. Well, let's see if we can't... Can we push him? I mean, we're going to hit that guy in the back line. We'll just be as fast as we can. We'll actually... I don't know if Sunder... Sunder might drop it. Let's go ahead and try. It looks like we might be able to get away with this. We'll go ahead and target the back line directly. And then we are going to hard deflect because, I mean, they're going to hit us. No matter what, yeah? Bentley goes in, hits the back line, shields are down, which means the Sunder should clear. It should clear all that armor. There we go. Beautiful. So all the armor has been cleared. We got an armor break. In comes the Centurion. Big hit, but our armor does its job. Phenomenal. This is how a warrior from a real dimension hits. Satellite charge. So cannot be delayed. Oh, it's this guy right here. So we got to kill him. We've got 86 on Bash coming into the team. All right, well, let's see if we can't do anything about this. We've got Broadside. I mean, I guess we could break the guy in the back line. That works. We'll sunder that guy. We can put a bleed on him as well. And we got a shield throw. We're so close. I mean, we might as well get offensive. Hit him. We probably should have gone all in on this gentleman, but I really wanted to break the bash. All right, his shields are down. We've got Sunder. His armor is now down. And then we got Bentley with broadside. But we went to the back line. <laughs> For the break. All right, he gets to shoot, though. Oh, did he do nothing? Satellite hammer. Well, let's not let him do anything. Repulsion. I mean, I don't know if we're fast enough. What about Bentley? Bentley has salvo. That's not fast enough. Oh, I see. It's the bash that we're worried about here. Well, that's an attack coming where? To Aegis. Aegis can charge shields. We'll hard deflect because he might get through. And then everything's going to the Centurion because honestly, it'll flow right on in to the guy in the back line. My knife. Go. Anything that doesn't go to the Centurion is going to go to the back line. There it is. High five. All right, that's a clear. And we've been able to singleton the guy in the back. And I think he's in serious trouble now. Vengeful stance. So he's probably going to counter. I see the world a whole new way now. Cannot be delayed. Vengeful stance. Counterattacks when hit. 
Well, he's got 23. Can he counter if he's dead? I guess is the question. I hope not. 23. What about a smash? That's a killing blow. What about a slash? That's a killing shot. What about a salvo? That's a killing shot. What about mine knife? Well, let's see. Can you counter this? Oh, there we go. <laughs> High five. <laughs> Plus one until 36 DNA. We can level up once again. That's beautiful. Ah. These locals are stronger than they look. I see. We're over here. I thought it was the center one right there. So it's world number two. Doing our best to get through to that middle world where the promotion is happening. We all have our part to play. Perhaps yours was to be ignominiously defeated. Perhaps that's mine as well. Time will tell. He seems very practical. Well, we've got to level up. Level 5 across, we could... We've got Guided Tour. Shield Defense, Shield Piercing. Sever. A new Light Attack with Bleeding 5. That's epic. Mana War. Counter Attacks when hit. Minus 5% Defense versus Health Damage blocked by Shields and Armor. Oh, oh, it's a Flurry Attack. Look at that. And we got Empathic Surge. Cancels debuffs and dot effects. That seems very powerful. I really would like Mana War. That's pretty epic. Let's go ahead and grab it. And it makes me want to actually move around Wynn's item, as silly as that sounds. I don't remember if Bentley can utilize it, but if we go to Squad and we go to Wynn and we have the Focus Cortex, you'll see Flurry Attacks get a plus 15% damage versus health. If we were to pull this off and let's say equip it on Bentley... Oh, he cannot equip that. Never mind. It does not matter then. We'll go ahead and equip it. That's perfect. We came up this way. We've got Imperium Tech Rare. New gear. So we've got Shield Stabilizer. That's over to Bentley, I suppose. Plus 35 shields, plus 15% resist laser damage. You got Particle Blade, which would improve over a Decimator. Oh my god. Plus 55% damage straight up. I'm going to take that level six. She can't equip it yet. I have to level up again. <laughs> we'll stash it, but that is too much damage. That's insane. It all went into the damage stat. Let's head on down. We can unlock things at the terminal as well. We still have another breach. So we've now unlocked all lockdown areas. I don't know what this is. Gain equipment common. We've got the epic. I mean, we might as well go for it. I mean, we're at that point, yeah? We're heading on up, and we're going to get a breach towards the epic area and hope that we'll survive. So let's do it. Breach up. Now we're moving. Oh my god. They got a conservator as well. And it's on the front line. Swinging fists. Okay, what do we got? Conservator. 183 shields, but 23 health. If we might be able to slip, I think we can only deal like 10 damage, right? With Senya. I mean, all we got to do is hit that a few times with Senya and that thing's going to fall. So that's good to know. We got a Robo Soldier attacking Aegis. 58 damage with a debuff. We've got this big swinging fist guy. Applies unconscious. Cannot act. I don't like that. And then we've got chilled. All attacks are slowed. Okay, this is pretty nasty. That's going to the empath, right? All right, well, what can we do? Mine knife, that's a killing blow. Oh, wow, 24 straight up. Well, who's hitting first? It's the boss. The boss is hitting first? Oh, that's no good. Well, if we're unconscious, we can't guard anyway, so I almost feel like we should deflect before that blow lands. So we'll hard deflect. We're gonna mine knife and kill the conservator. We are going to, I suppose, slash and break. And we got Man of War. This is when we breach those shields and we get through. Can we salvo anyone else? Killing a shot. I mean, we'll just come in with a salvo and see who we hit. Here we go. So she'll be unconscious, I believe, right? She deflected that. She's unconscious. She cannot act. She's marked up. This will last for a bit. We got shields down and a break. Beautiful. We got mine knife to kill. And a crit. High five. There we go. And incoming. 
Oh boy. I'm always curious if she's unconscious, can she does she still get the buff from her defenses, right? Alright, where are we at? Shield aura versus time aura. I mean at this point, are we struggling with our timetable? It doesn't look like it. I'm gonna switch over to shield aura so we can get some of this back. Stimulate attacks, execute 10 seconds faster plus 25% crit damage. Well, where are we at? We got Salvo. Oh, I guess he's the front line still, yeah? We can land a big hit 10 seconds sooner. It's a 60 second timeline. It'll put her... I mean, either way, he's going to be landing before this guy. With the other two, we can't target them, I think, until we clear their front line. So that's unfortunate. It looks like everyone's attacking Aegis except for this gentleman. I don't know if we can kill him. He has no armor. So we might as well cleave him. We'll broadside, getting a killing blow. And then we'll go ahead and mine knife. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We'll just hit somebody. At least we'll apply bleed, right? That's important. And full deflect. And hopefully we'll be able to mitigate some of this damage with our armor. He's got a haymaker, so it's going to reduce, I would assume, positive buffs. Big hit. Shields are down. We still have our armor. That should be a kill shot. Beautiful. High five. Now we have access to the back line, but... He removed three of our armor, but we didn't take too much health damage, so that is a, a blessing. Ground pound. So I think we can actually target these guys now, yeah? Minus 25% defense versus crit. Cannot stealth staggers. Delay 30% more. Concussion is going to hit an AoE. And then we've got the guy on Aegis. Honestly, the big boss is the biggest issue right now. We salvo that guy. We've got a break. We man of war that guy. We get a crit. Do we have what it takes? If we cleave, that's heavy. Almost there. If we mine knife, that is a break. Which means we can get in with mana war. And then we'll hard deflect on this. Let's go. So we're going to stop this ground pound. There's the push. Incoming. We're losing armor, but that's all right. Big cleave. And better yet, now without the armor and without the shields, in comes Flurry with Man of War. Oh my... <laughs> oh my god. Wow. And you gotta think, too. He has minus 5% verse health, right? So, right now, we got the veteran trooper. We look at ourselves. I don't think we can actually... Can we select them? There we go. There we go. There we go. So he currently has minus 5% defense versus health damage blocked by shields and armor. Honestly, that's that's pretty epic. He can be pushed twice. If we salvo, we're not fast enough. And a 10 second boost isn't going to do it. If we time aura, that's going to help a lot. So now let's take a look at it. If we salvo, we can push him. Excellent. Time aura made all the difference. It really, really did. We're going to switch on over. We've got the slash that's normal. Resist to normal. So we're coming in with a cleave. And that's going to be a break on the boss. And then we're going to go ahead and... I mean, I guess we'll just keep mine knifing. And we'll hard deflect. I actually didn't check the target of the soldier. So hopefully he's targeting Aegis. There's the push. Thanks to Time Aura. My knife and the bleed. We got a break big hit. We're losing armor. But the enemy's lost his shields. And then the cleave. <laughs> Tam Dorian, your days are numbered. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, he's super early. We cannot delay this guy. It's not possible any longer. We can speed ourselves up, though. For Slash... That would land, but he's resistant to normal. There's no way a 10 second boost is going to help the cleave. So he's just going to get in with that AOE. I don't like that, but I don't know if I can do too much about it. So I think 
How much is it again? It's going to be 34 across the board. We have shields to take it, believe it or not. So it's almost like we should focus on the other guy. Let's go ahead and... There's Salvo. There's Man of War. And Broadside. Broadside is enough. We are now targeting the soldier. We are going to charge shields. And we are going to... I'm going to guard Bentley because he's not defending himself. Everyone else is going to defend. And we're going to switch to shield aura and hard defend. There we go. Let's do it. We'll get some shields back afterwards. So we're reducing and mitigating the damage to our shields and then getting some as a recovery. So shields down for Aegis. That was fun. Cannot wait to do that again. Well, I don't know if he'll get to. Big hit. And there's the break. Beautiful. So we don't have to suffer any sort of incoming from him on this turn. All right. Phenomenal. So the boss is going to be later. He's pumping up. What is that? Brute. Plus 33% damage stackable. Attacks are five seconds faster. Oh my god. That's terrifying. Well, let's, let's stop that if possible. Yeah. We're switching over to time aura. Free action. We're now five seconds faster. We've got Salvo for a huge push. Slash for a kill shot. We got Mind Knife. And I mean, he's basically buffing himself, so we'll shield throw him. Let's go. Big hit. And the follow up. Enemy down. High five. So he'll get buffed like crazy. And we're just going to do what we can and build a Fury. Shield throw. Okay, he's now dealing extra damage and has more output. This will take a while. Swings fists. I think it's the unconscious, right? Yeah, unconscious, concussion, etc., etc. Well, let's see if we can't stop. Oh my god, he is so fast. He is so, so fast. Well, and it is targeting our tank. Charge shields. Full deflect. I mean, we're just coming in because there's nothing else. Man of War, we're dealing health damage. And we're going to peace to get more defense to our tank. And here we go. I probably should have switched to the, uh, the shield aura. We took minus eight health. That's not bad at all. Aegis is unable to act, but we're going to come in in retaliation. Big hit for 63. There's Mana War with a flurry attack. Hits four times. Where is he sitting now? Haymaker. So we've got a debuff coming in 272 and he's got we have the ability to push him twice. Salvo's enough to break. Do it. We're switching to Shield Aura. We do not need the speed. Mind Knife. Cleave. And instead of Smash, Shield Throw, because he's resistant to normal. So here we go. Four crits. There's the break. I think the next turn, we can finish him, if we haven't already, yeah? It depends on when he gets to go on this next turn because of the break, right? We get our shield throw. We get a crit. We get our slash. Killing blow. There it is. There it is. High five. So we get epic gear now. Enemy down. And we're up to 64 points, yeah? Plus two until we've got 18 and we have 49 DNA. Phenomenal. I don't know if that's enough. I think we need 60 something in order to level up win. Who'd have thought this would have ended this way? Tam Dorian has been killed. Well, thank goodness. Very helpful for us. Mother, have mercy on these failures. We cannot all be as good and wise as you. Let's go in and gather as many credits as we can. We also have the epic gear that we can now acquire. New gear. So Pyro Blade. 
We have a new blade. It's at level six. Particle gauntlet, heavy attacks, redirect targets, attacks to self. Oh, it comes with a taunt? That's phenomenal. We got a laser blaster, but oh my god. That is a big difference. Usually we've got irradiated one. Now we got irradiated five. 25% reduction. I think I'm going to grab this because this is his role. We'll go and equip it because previously it was a minus 5% to health damage, I think. So if we went over here, minus 25% defense versus health damage instead of 5%. So that's a big difference, yeah? And we're gonna hold off on updating their levels because I'd like to get that level six whenever possible. So we're gonna grab these credits. Excellent. And is there more? There is some out here. It's, it's rather far out there, but you know, every last bit counts. Who knows if we're gonna get defeated by that boss. He could just be like the quiet one, you know? The one that you have to worry about because it doesn't say too much. Rather humble, but he has quite some capabilities. Seems like there's a shield buff there as well. Let's go ahead and camp here. So repair 50% armor brings us up to 19 out of 22. That's very, very nice. And we can even heal that HP. So I think it's here, right? Heal health 50%. Phenomenal. Excellent. And now we get to choose, right? So we'll always do dynamic duo. It's between two specific characters. Bentley and Wynn get an improvement to their relationship. You know, it's funny sitting here with a defender. I've spent most of my life on the run from you guys. Well, we could have had you any time. It was a close shave when you tried to raid the SUS Cyclopean. How could I have guessed it would be filled with Cyclopses? Partners. Combo power unlock. 175 damage for shock and awe. Crit bonus another 87 damage. 158% damage versus one versus shields. And 125% damage versus health. Very, very potent. And we've got the irradiated five. I'm assuming that's because of the pistol that he's got, right? So maybe we'll get the bleeding for the mind knife. Because she's not going to deal a ton of damage, but if she does, it's going to be helpful. And then health damage will just cleave away. Can we do it on ourselves? I guess we'll go health damage like so. There we go. I mean, he hits the hardest right now anyway. So there we go. You know what? We're going for the boss. We're going for the boss. Is that smart? No idea. Are we going to do it? Yes. Yes, we are. Although I suppose we could take this route. It might be faster. Yeah, I guess that's probably going to be faster. We're going to head down this way. My bad. All right, we're breaching. It's the last named guy, as far as I'm aware. Look at him go. It's like a Roman. Speed aura, shield slam, strong blast. Well, we're going to take that shield slam, right? So he's got shield slam to Aegis, and he's just going to decimate her shields from full to zero and continue to get blasts from everyone else. Everyone is dealing extra damage versus shields with pierce and everything like that. This is not cool. I don't know if I can stop that. I really don't. All we can really do is try to delay some of the enemies. We're not fast enough for this. What about... We can stimulate... We can stimulate Bentley. Bentley is now 10 seconds faster, allowing him to strike way out here. But we cannot break as many people... Is it important? I should probably have looked before I did that. Shield slam. Pulse and nitro reduces defenses versus shield damage. I mean, that's not helpful considering they're just absolute. I mean, every one of them is applying. These three are applying the shield damage defense reduction. So, I mean, at this point, I feel like we should be breaking more people and not fewer people. So let's go ahead and just target the mid lane. Push him to break, so that's going to mitigate some of the damage that Aegis would take. Uh, we've got our Slash. That's a break. Cleave's not enough, so we're coming in with the Slash. We'll be able to mitigate two of the incoming charges, and we will hard deflect on our tank. All right, here we go. Hopefully, we'll still have some health after this. There we go. There's a break and a shield down. Beautiful. 29 shields. Not so tough now, are you? Well, I think he applied a debuff to us, so this is going to hurt. 
25. Oh, she's still good. Wow, that is a big difference from the preview, yeah? Phenomenal. He's got batter. God, he's pretty fast. Subjugator, Lil Vitor. He's gonna hit 73. Everyone's focused on the front line. Fair enough. Heel Hall. Shock and awe. God, this thing is just devastating, that attack. Makes me want to save it, but... We have to be somewhat judicious, right? Let's hold. Let's start with Bentley. He's got the most delay. We've got Salvo. That's a break. That's almost a break. But he only has one attack coming to him. We're going to go in a broadside. Break the basher in the front. We've got Mind Knife. Has an extra action this round if we inspire. I mean, that's pretty potent. If we can give that to Bentley, that would be amazing. Can we give it to Bentley? So he's going to get another action. I'm not, I've never used that before. So that means he gets to execute. Oh, that's excellent. So we got to break and then maybe he can break again, right? Oh, that's close. All right, we're going to top lane. And that's going to allow us to get a big hit on the top lane and get a killing blow. Oh my god. Wow, that's excellent. Full deflect. And we got Mind Knife to apply bleed on the boss if possible. Here we go. Incoming. She still has shields. There's that second action. Shields are down. Mind Knife. He's coming in with batter. Oh, no. Killing blow. <laughs> High five. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Holy moly. I am but an extension of Mother's Will. I told you it's the quiet ones. And now we have zero shields. We have no shields. Oh, I thought that was a killing blow. He still has something left in him. All right. Well, fair enough. So we got Timora. We do not have enough fury to charge shields, so what can we do? If we man a war, that's just going to chew those shields. Do we have a way of pushing him? Slash is fast enough. Let's go ahead and start it, and then we can man a war and get a crit, but it's going to be late. Can we push him farther than that? My knife. Let's see, where, where does this land? This takes him to this diamond back here, right? So Mana War is on the diamond. I think this is going to be enough. If we mine knife the front line... Oh, you know what? Never mind, I don't care. Because honestly, we should be mine knifing the guy who has like no health. Although, is he being guarded or something? What is going on with this guy? He refuses to die. Elite Squad Nitro damage being guarded. Oh, he's being guarded. Okay, fair enough. Well, then in that case, yes, we are going to mine knife the heck out of the front line. Hit that. Coming with Mana War. There is a crit and a kill shot. Fantastic. And we're going to hard deflect because it's all coming to Aegis. She's got zero shields. Makes me want to do shield aura, but we kind of need the time aura right now. My knife pushes him further back and guarantees the crit with Bentley. So we lost two armor. Come on, Bentley. Man of War. There she is. Beautiful. Oh boy. Okay, we got 10 armor remaining. 10 armor. So he's got batter, so he's not guarding this anymore, which means the empath should be able to get a killing shot. There we go. Shot out. We've got shock and awe. That's a kill shot. How much does he have left? Is that too much? 179. 179. I mean, I guess we could save it, but no. No. Shock and awe. Shock and awe. Go, Bentley, go in. That's their new combo. <laughs> Dump that guy. That's the way. And hard deflect. We don't have an another option here. It's coming. Hopefully, we'll survive. Mind shield, drop him. There we go. High five. It's just the quiet one. 
Leo Vitor. Nasty health damage is stacking up there. Let's see if we can't turn the tide now. All right, what's he got on Bash? So right now he has 56 coming into Aegis. He has Elite Squad Nitro damage. Can we push him? That is a break. If we broadside, that is a break. Mana War has no delay on it, but it will be a crit. We're close to break. With a slash. If we cleave resist to heavy. Okay, we're going to slash him. We're then going to... Let's... Stimulate to Bentley. It's going to give plus 25% crit damage. We'll smash. Bentley's coming in with Mana War. Oh my god, look at this. Killing blow. <laughs> Holy god. Are you serious? Just like that? Bentley's coming for you. Enemy down. <laughs> High five. So we've got 85 DNA. We finally have enough to get that sword phenomenal. We've stashed the card. Wow, that was epic. Look at that. I was just following orders. Well, too bad for you. There we go. Beautiful. We got most of the revealed lieutenants there. That's excellent. We'll tell you what. Let's go in and get that level up. 53. Beautiful. We gained Sever. That's phenomenal. And now we're a level six, which is going to allow us to utilize the blade. So here it is. Swap it out. Particle blade plus 55% extra damage at level six. Oh my God. We want to grab this first. New gear. Colossus, new shield. Oh man. I mean, we should be able to use this. I wonder why Colossus is not highlighting for our girl here, right? She should be able to use this. That would be super great. Pyro Gauntlets penetrates armor 25%, inflicts burning six. Flurry attack supply marked. We've got Pulse Blade. Honestly, she already got her blade. So I think I'm, I want to get this. I hope she can equip it. Equipped. Colossus. Let's take a look. She cannot use it, huh? Interesting. I wonder why that is. So if you notice, it actually goes here. Weird. That's so weird. I should really... So honestly, I just assumed Colossus would work on the tank, even though it was only highlighting the empath and win, but I was wrong. I mean, good to know. I, I wonder why that is or how that works, but okay. I mean, I will pay attention to the little highlights as opposed to the regular stuff. I mean, even common equipment can be useful. Let's pop over to the left side here. We're actually going to take our time on this one because we've never done this boss before. So it's going to be weird otherwise. Yep. They've got a buff bot. They've got a tank in the front. Seems pretty normal. Ooh, okay. Hit on shields. Centurion in the back line. Marking up Bentley. All right. All right. Well, we don't need the time aura here. We're going to come in with the shield aura. Free action. We've got Sever. Light attack applies bleeding. Huge hit and delay. That's phenomenal. And then we got Mana War with a killing shot. Oh my god. Shield throw. Negative. What about Mind Knife? Let's start working that guy. And I don't think they're attacking directly, so I might just smash our way through and see what happens. Here we go. Break. Immediately with Sever, our new light attack at level 6. We mind knife the bot. Smash, clear the shields, and in comes Bentley with Man of War. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's epic. That is epic. Enemy down. Beautiful. Frontline is clear. Alright, they're charging up. They're getting nasty. What do we got? Shield aura. Ticking. Topping us off. Satellite Hammer, they are now empowered, which allows them to get all attacks are five seconds faster. So obviously they're going to be faster. We need to be just as fast. We've got Sever and Break on the bot. We can at least push this guy. All right, move. We're going to attack on Satellite Hammer. We got Mind Knife. 
There we go. Mine knife to the bot. Break on the Centurion. Smash won't push, unfortunately. Well, let's just... We'll just smash him. Just for damage. Let's do it. So we'll be able to break the Centurion. And once again, it's because of the Moon Gauntlets. We don't have the ability to stagger. If we had the ability to stagger, we can always swap them out. So I might consider it as much as a 20% extra damage and the removing of positive buffs and stuff like that is cool. If the uh, stagger is so huge at being able to control how much damage we're going to take. Oh, look at that bleed, though. Excellent. Well, let's get aggressive. Here we go. Killing blow. Oh, never mind. Okay, that's it. <laughs> oh, freaking epic. Let's go. I mean, that's it. Fantastic. Mani Drexel, 52. We can level up as well. Great. Well, for Guided Tour, can't, let's do Empathic Surge. Cancels debuffs and dot effects. That's huge. Her ability to keep us fighting fit is quite admirable. And let's go get that common equipment. It, it may be common, but it shouldn't be, you know, scoffed at. For a planet that thrives on tourism, the locals sure aren't very friendly to tourists. I love all the quaint Norosh customs, like punching tourists in the back of the head and taking their holo wallets. I'm always impressed by Norosian architecture. Nothing gets me more excited than earthquake space retrofitting. It's worth traveling for. I like, <laughs> I like how he wants to sock people in the back of the head and take their stuff. New gear. Particle Blade, Density Graft, and Nitro Blaster. I mean, none of them are better. I'm mean, gonna suppose we can stash this and give this to our Empath. She has like nothing, so it's better than nothing, right? Look at that, she has, she literally has nothing. Is there anything she can even equip here? I don't think so. At least we're gonna be able to do that 50% armor heal. She only has seven, which is rough. She'll gain 11. She'll get up to 18, but she will not be at her full 22, unfortunately. But it's all right. Hopefully, this is why we'll get the shields, and maybe we won't have to dip into the armor too much. Let's go in and breach. This is the last fight before the boss. Man, this guy works out. Look at that. Like, dancing pecs. Metal pecs. Ground pound. We've seen this before. We get the Centurion, but the Centurion is the front line, so we should be able to lay into him pretty hard. Okay, so shield throw 3x, 115% damage versus the shields themselves. If we smash, I mean, that's just massive. Let's just hit that. We've got sever and we have cleave, which is just terrifying. But I don't think we can push him now that I think about it. We should probably be focusing on the ground pound guy. Can we do that? If we cleave the ground pound guy. Oh, that's a push. We can broadside or we can man o war. What about mine knife? Mine knife, that's the way. And now we can man o war when he only has health. So do it up. Let's go. Nail that guy's shields. I mean, he's going to get his satellite charge off no matter what. We can't delay him. So we're going to the ground pounder. Big hit, and then the man of war to just burn that health. God, this is so cool. <laughs> so cool. I can't believe we've survived this long. I thought for sure we'd be knocked out by now, but I'm very pleased. All right, so where are we at? This guy's going faster, so we're going to move faster. We've Oh, we already got our time aura. What do we got? That's a break. Oh, we can't push him out of there. Well, what can we do? We've got Sever. It's fast. We've got Slash. It's fast as well. 68. Yeah, let's do it. Smash. Close. What about Mind Knife? Is that enough? Kill Shot. Beautiful. And we're coming on in with the Salvo and the Break. There it is. Phenomenal. All out offense. Big smash and a mine knife to finish. Enemy down. <laughs> Break. Go Bentley. Break and shields down. Beautiful. All right. Where are you at on the timeline? He's pretty early. He's pretty, pretty early. 
That's not going to push. So hold. We've got Slash. That's a push. And then Bentley's got Salvo. That's a killing blow. Beautiful. <laughs> Fantastic. If we don't take any damage, you might as well keep fighting. You know what I mean? You're going to get experience. You're going to get gold. You're going to get all kinds of stuff. Enemy down. More importantly, we get that DNA and we're going to be able to get enhancements to our shields for the boss. So this is it. Last night. The last night, he just gains 40 shields. Great. Dynamic duo. Get some free affection. Love it. Love and affection. So tell me a bit more about this job we're working on. You'll love it. We're going to steal an ancient treasure from a university professor who's also a master ar artifact thief. Tell me about your scheme. Well, it's a daring plan to rob a famous space pirate. I, I can't remember which one, but he's also an author. Wait a minute, I think we were planning on robbing each other. Amazing! Great minds, right? Maybe we were meant to be together. Uh, someday, this crazy war is going to end, and we can focus on what's really important. Stealing stuff. Okay. <laughs> uh, heal health. Yes, please. We'll top that off. And we're also going to do the heal armor. That's going to be huge, so thank you so much to Bentley. Definitely want that. Repair 50% armor up to 18, just like we said. And now we don't have to do any more heals or repairs, so it's all about advantage. We've got attacks causing bleed. I mean, that could be super useful on a boss. And then we've got two more points, right? Health damage if we burn through those shields. I mean, I suppose 33% is 33%. God, his mana war is going to be insane. All right, and that's it. Let's do it. So we're going up to the behemoth now. The behemoth has arrived, except for, you know... We don't have full armor, but we've got a decent amount. Mother says I should kill you quickly, but I think I'm going to take my time and enjoy this. Hey, there's the Norosh Behemoth, just as rude and ruthless as the first one. Go show him who owns this dimension. Let's take out this Behemoth. I've had it with the Imperium stealing our Titan cores. All right. I don't think we can really exchange anything. Let's do it. God, he's a, like a metallic beast. What is this deal? Horrid Shriek. Intimidated. This should be fun. Perforate. Well, that didn't sound good. What do we got? 695 shields. 1,304 health. 60 armor. Loads stun. If he is stunned, goes rabid and retaliates with deadly force. Well, we don't have a stun. No, no, no. Can attack twice per round. And has plus 25% defense versus stagger. Well, that's horrible. 135 damage to our tank. 14 armor break. And he gets minus, applies a minus 30% defense for shield damage. Well, that's not so great. Okay, well, do we need the time aura is the question. We've got empathic surge to cancel debuffs, thought effects, etc. We can also increase our output. Let's see, we've got sever slash... That's a push. Let's start with... Well, we I guess we could do armor-piercing rounds. But we've got to clear his shields anyway, so we'll hold on to that one. That's a massive push. Can we actually do... Do that amount with Sever plus Mind Knife? I was almost there. Almost, almost there. I was hoping then we could do something like Man of War or something like that. Otherwise, we have to really rely on Bentley. So it's a 20 second push, 30 second push. Yeah, I don't think so. All right. Well, we're coming in with just hammering away at the shields. We'll salvo to break. We've got... We don't need the shield aura. We don't need the extra round, and we can just mine knife him, and then we'll get in with a smash. Here we go. So we got a break and bleed, more importantly. So that's very helpful. And cleave. That's a massive amount of shields. That's huge. Okay, so he is not delayable right now. So we could 
we could get in and immediately like keel haul shock and awe which doesn't have any sort of wind up or time attached to it but i'm honestly she's gonna take a hit i feel and we just need to be ready for it so we'll go in and hard deflect and then everyone else can just do whatever damage they possibly can 109 we can battle cry ourselves and just hammer at those shields so let's go in and battle cry that's going to be 20. oh did i just taunt the enemy whoops okay that i did not i did not mean to do okay whoops <laughs> okay that's terrifying uh-oh that was a mistake <laughs> This is not good, not good. Well, I mean, we did it. We might as well go go in hard. All right, let's go. And shield aura, I mean, we probably need a little bit of peace on win because we don't want her resting in pieces. You know what I mean? Oh boy. The deflect is not gonna do a thing. <laughs> I did not read the taunt component. Well, all right. Uh, that's terrifying. If he's got an AOE, we're in trouble later. I was thinking we'd do more damage, but oh well. <laughs> I don't usually use that. Oh my god, wow. Chilled. That's not good. She's slower. Okay. Where is he at? Feast on Viscera. Applies bleeding six to the tank and heals 45. Oh wow, he heals 45 because he's feasting on us. That's, that's glorious. Let's see if we can't salvo that guy. And then we're going to sever and break. We'll be able to get my knife to apply bleed to him. And let's smash him. Here we go. I guess I could have done repulsion, which would apply 20 shields to the whole party. Ooh, because of the order, we did not get the break. I did not look at that closely. We only had two attacks to push him. Two of us could have done it, but you're even tastier than you look. And he's going to heal a little bit. Yeah, so long story short, we could have broken him, but because of the speed and on the timeline, we did not break him. So we are only allowed two delays on this guy. So as an example, we can salvo. That's huge. We can mine knife. That's enough to break. And she's really early on so let's come in with a cleave to guarantee we're way late in the order even though we're chilled and this is our last attempt to break and we managed to break him so that's why that works and then we can come in with a cleave and get a crit okay so now we're starting to slowly work that armor probably should have done sunder he is no longer delayable this attack is coming over to our empath i mean let's go ahead and charge shields we'll guard the empath we've got shock and awe let's shock and awe the guy that's gonna be awesome nail it i mean i suppose i could have worked on his armor first but still pretty epic and irradiated so reduced defenses against health damage that's great uh Shield Aura. And peace to Aegis. I guess I could have applied bleed. It's all right. It's all right. Maybe we can still do this. We still have a chance. Incoming. Ooh, never mind. He attacked Bentley? Okay, I misread that. I need to look at that more closely. Hypnosis. He is nimble. He gets two attacks. Well, I think Bentley only needs one to push this guy, but honestly, I'd rather do a Man of War. Let's see if we can't... Sever. Almost there. Mine Knife. There's the break. Bentley comes in. Armor piercing rounds. Man of War. Full crit. That's Sever. Mine Knife. To apply bleed and break and then with armor piercing rounds comes bentley with man of war oh zero damage 
Ooh, because it's a lot of smaller hits. That's why. That's why. So it didn't do anything. Fair enough. Understood. Well, this guy's coming for us. We've got a big AoE coming in with gore. All the attacks are slowed by 15 seconds. We cannot delay this. We cannot stop it. So that's no bueno. Um, I'm now almost feeling like... See, we got shield aura up. Time aura. Is there anything that we can do? Even if we're 10 seconds sooner, we could get a hit in, but it's not going to like reduce the damage that he does or anything like that. And we're about to die if we do that. So let's... So hard defend for everybody and see who... See where we're at. He's going to hard defend. And we're actually going to guard Bentley. Or incoming. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Incoming. Gore? Oh boy. Actually, not that bad, but the chill's not great. So we may have to switch over to Time Aura to compensate. Ooh! Alright. Shield's down for our empath. Okay, so... How are our attacks gonna land? We've got... A big push, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Shield aura is fine. We have cancels debuffs and dot effects. So, how are our dots right now? Debuffs plus fifty percent armor damage, slow burn damage plus ten percent. Oh, I forgot! Holy crap! His legendary effect. Wow, that stacked like super high. We've got a debuff here. All attacks slowed by fifteen seconds, blocked by shields. That's kind of okay if we break him, right? That's okay as well. No need. No need. 25% extra crit damage. Well, let's see if we can't start with a Sunder. All right, we'll Sunder. We'll Salvo. We'll break him. We'll Mind Knife. And we'll Smash. The crits and the break are going to help us gain some Fury as well. Hopefully there's something we can use. So now he went from 54 down to 32. 32 armor. Big crit. And a smash. Beautiful. And we're going to remove any sort of positive buffs and stuff like that. Yeah? Excellent. So what is his debuff now? He does have the negative 25% defense versus health damage. That's basically where, I mean, where he lives now, right? Saimura, we're switching... That's going to allow us to go a little bit faster, but we are not fast enough. Who is he attacking? He's going to attack Win. Aegis is now going to shift over and guard Win. And let's just hit this guy. So Sunder. I'll go ahead and... Is Mana War going to do anything? I mean, I guess it will now, but... We'll broadside because it's going to burn off 9 armor, yeah? And then we got Mind Knife. Hit him. Let's go. We might be able to do this. I believe. I believe. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so much. Hang in there, Aegis. 30. 107. Mind Knife. But... Do we get bleeding? Horrid Shriek. I think that intimidated? Yeah, intimidated. This is not going as I expected. Vengeance mode. Counter attacks when hit. Oh no. Okay, free action does not end turn. Counter attacks when hit. 375 health. Does that mean he's going to get 375? His counter is going to be 87. I assume this means he's going to gain 375 health. So... We have to go all in on this guy, right? Shock and awe. Repulsion. How are we doing here? If we Sunder, we'll get return fire. But honestly, I think we have to just go for it. All right, Sunder. Holy God. All right. Bentley. Man of War. Smash. And let's do it. We'll stimulate. 
to get a little bit extra from win. So there's the smash. He'll counter. Big hit. Come on, we just need to limp on by. This one, we've got to win. Aegis is down. Counter hit. His armor's down. Mana War. Oh, it's Purr? Oh, no. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. That is really bad. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, that is so bad. I did not read that correctly, and he gains 30... <laughs> That did us in. That was the end. That's what did us in. Holy crap. I didn't know it was per his flurry. That now makes so much sense. Okay, well, I don't think we're going to get out of this one. How do we do this? I don't know if we can. Right now, he's targeting our empath. Are we unconscious? Is that why Win can't do anything? I mean, all we can really do is defend. So let's shield Aura. Go ahead and defend. Yeah, he gained too much health there. We were so... We were pretty close. We are pretty close, but I read that one very, very poorly. And that did us in, unfortunately. Win, where are you at? Rip entrails? Yeah. I basically attacked a big wall of spikes. And he was able to heal. I was hoping to stop him from healing. It did not happen. If we sever, we get a break. Why not? We'll keep fighting until the end, but still. Oof, that was rough. We got a break. But that means he's going to be resistant to it, and we don't have enough push here. If we defend, we can stop the death. Full defend. Incoming. But I believe he attacks twice with Nimble, right? Shields are down. I will bring your half-eaten corpses to Mother, and she will pet me and say, Good girl. Oh, <laughs> Well, I'm glad that we could assist you with your motherly love. All right. Oh, we got close there, but we did not win. It's all right. The cool thing is we are going to get a lot of upgrades. That's massive. Crushed by Chimera on Norosh. We have been defeated, but 8,096 are highest score yet. So let's go. Galak Antilles was promoted to Menku Lieutenant and Menku Commander. All right. Fair enough. He's getting stronger. And that is why the Imperium's mandatory serum mine and organ harvesting policy will actually benefit the middle class. I'm sure it is. Well, let's go. We're going to head out. And this is where the intel should apply. Tier 6. Berserker for Bentley. Hasten's action speeds by 5 seconds, increases crit damage by 15%. That's phenomenal. Tier 7, Disruptor for Enforcer. Don't know who that is. Increases attacks delays by 5 seconds. Buckshot now reduces enemy armor damage by 50%. Tier 8. Hey, oh, Berserker for Marksman. Hastens action speed and increased crit damage. Tier 9. Oh my god. Disruptor for the Empath. Increased damage by 15%. Increased attack delay by 5 seconds. And we are close to Tier 10. I've detected the position of the next attack and set the portal accordingly. Good luck, J5T. Fight back this next attack. Perhaps the rage will abate. Okay, so let's go in and take a look at the unlocks before we wrap up. But this is so, so freaking exciting. So we've got a lot of intel now. Quantum Synchronizer is going to allow us to unlock more people. We've got Jens Malric. Oh, there was the Enforcer we're talking about. Senya Lanadora. That was the empath that we had. Tark Chanlo is the damage dealer. High damage support that can also stun and regenerate shields in a pinch. Well, that sounds cool. Are you kidding me? And then, of course, we saw the marksman. The ability to strike the back row is pretty potent. I know that we share these perks, share intel costs. So we've got Defender, Reaver, Crit Damage, Pierces Armor, and Shields by 25%. And then we've got Disruptor, Increases Damage by 15%, Increases Attack Delays by 5 seconds. I think if we unlock them, Training Grounds can unlock perks using Intel for new Renegade Recruits. I think it automatically applies to the right ones. That I'm not too sure, yeah? And I have never done this. Droid Lab. Use Imperium technology to unlock droid upgrades. What is this? Metal Detector can find DNA and credits strewn about at nighttime. Gearhead Module. Repairs 50% armor automatically after every single camp. 100. We've got 78. Mercantile Module. More merchants available upon liberating a planet. Choose between three heroes instead of two upon liberating planet. Oh, that's awesome. That's really nice. 
And then we've got this whole... So I never went into the relationship tracker. What's the deal with this? I'm assuming when you maybe max some of this out, you unlock more things. 5 out of 49 conversations and progeny. Soulmates. Okay. No idea. We've got more points, so we can actually upgrade some of these things. Defiler. Oh, you can kind of see the archetype in the upper right-hand corner. Berserker Core. 3 armor, 10 health. Flurry attacks, extra damage for Vindicator implants, all attacks. So between the gauntlets, seems like there's like two of them, right? Look at this. So it seems like Decimator and Defiler are both swords. Vanquisher and Retribution are both gauntlets. Treachery and Abomination are both pistols. Malice and Syndrome are both, I'm assuming, some machine guns. Agitator implant and Vindicator implant are both, well, implants. We've got this, and then we've got all these down here. I'm not too sure how these are unlocked. Oh my god, you can keep scrolling. Okay, I have no clue. Maybe you have to unlock. All unlocked armory gear can randomly spawn during your mission at all item levels. Higher level variants will be more powerful. Only one can be activated per mission. Okay, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no clue. I did not see all of these. I don't know how you un unlock all of these. One demotion is gained for every six gear purchase. One promotion gained for every six gear purchase. Oh, we just have to purchase gear? Oh, okay. I mean, that seems fine. So let's go for Defiler. We'll purchase that. And then we'll also get Retribution for the tank. And we've got 18 points, and we can hold on this. If I had to stack one, I mean, it wouldn't be bad. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad to do this. There we go. We'll, we'll get Retribution as gauntlets, at least for the next run out there and then we've got our quantum synchronizer although between the passives the passives are pretty darn epic we could probably unlock jen's malric and then there we go so we've unlocked jen's malric there he is the enforcer and then we can also unlock maybe like the first defender perk and they can be even more potent or better yet disruptor increased damage by 15 second increased attack delays by five that sounds epic well, upgrade Disruptor. There we go. I don't know what it's going to do. Oh, it needs 15. Increase health by 20. Increase damage by 10%. Crit damage pierces armor and shields. I mean, that's pretty darn epic. Let's go Reaver. So what happens if we start a new run? So now, if we go on down, we've got new stuff unlocked. And we've selected new ones. So we've got Jen's Malrig. If we look at the scores high damage support that can also stun and regenerate shields in a pinch he's got a class damage so he's a damage dealer armor damage and b class support expand info circular reasoning he's got rifle implant and device covering fire buckshot let's try him so he can be our damage dealer right so we'll grab jens malric we've never tried this guy vorpal swarm Gain three elements, attacks now do pyro damage, etc., etc. Reborn, health reset to 100%. Oh my god, every time you camp? That's kind of crazy. Health regenerating damage soaker who can dish out elemental damage with the power of his mind. I mean, that sounds cool. <laughs> I'll be perfectly honest, though. Does he, he doesn't use a gauntlet. So, does anyone else? We've got our Archon, and then A plus stagger and armor damage and speed. God, Nodo is so good. I guess let's try Nodo again, but I kind of selected the gauntlet. So I'm going to choose Mariotti again, and then we'll go like this. So Disruptor, I'm curious, can you choose? Oh, you can choose. Look at that. Gain two affection when receiving cards in camping. Disruptor, increase attacks delays by five seconds. Buckshot, now reduce enemy armor damage by 50. Wow. Reaver, crit damage pierces armor and shields by 25%. And Siphoner Smash now drains 15 shields from the enemy. Okay, that's pretty darn epic. That's epic. Wow. As per tradition, we'll get into one fight, and then we'll see how this rolls out, and we'll wrap up. And we are actually colored a little bit differently now, aren't we? Because we've got different specialities. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Enabled the gauntlets, right? So we do have gauntlets. We do. Retribution. There she is. So we inflict 10% extra damage and extra stagger. So we're just going to be staggering machines. We've got so much stagger here. And then we will continue. I realize I'm I'm going long, so... <laughs> this game is too cool. It's too cool. All right, 35 credits. Oh, we had 310 credits, but we burned them all. Oh, that's a shame. 
All right, here we go. Menku drone. This is our fight. We got a shield bot. Shield steel. What do we got? We're going to start with Noto. We know he's phenomenal with his breaks. We'll just break the shield bot. That's great. And we've got our new enforcer. It looks like he's got a shotgun. Burst shot lock target. Well, I suppose it's going to crit, but it's not going to stagger, I realize. Well, they're attacking Aegis. If she smashes, there is a stagger there. But he doesn't have a stagger. <laughs> I was hoping he had one, but apparently he doesn't. At least not off the bat, right? Okay, well, fair enough. I guess we shall deflect. And then we're just going to go in and burst shot the bot. There we go. He does have eight class damage, apparently. Oh my god. All right. That'll do. Freaking epic. Okay, this is not bad. We don't have as much control. We just kind of have raw brutality, but it's all right. Straight shot has a push. Honestly, we've got burst shot. That's a kill shot right off the bat, so straight shot it in. There it is. High five. <laughs> God, that is so cool. Man, this team is going to be interesting. God, the stagger on Noto is insane, though. And that's just awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Well, that is awesome. I cannot wait until we check out this team in this run. We've got a lot of upgrades. We've got a better understanding. And we didn't have all our credits to spend. But I guess it's specifically for when you transist from one area to the next so bunnies thanks so much for joining me i had a lot of fun i think i'm starting to understand a little bit more and it seems like we're able to kind of progress a little bit farther and unlock more things we have a new character jens malrick we've got new unlocks there's there's so much here this is really really cool i like this game if you enjoyed the episode please feel free to like share comment down below it helps us a great deal i had a total blast i hope you did as well and I can't wait to get into the next one with you. Have a wonderful, wonderful night.